not quite my size, but, uh, you know, I'm going to try it on anyway. Terry Johnson with the Quirkles joins us this morning. It, it fits. It's like an no, overcoat. It's, uh, it's good. It'll be, it'll be fine. I can flap, flap away. <laughs> what are we doing today? Today we are doing Susie Sound and Mary Motion. We're going to get two for one. First thing I need you to do, uh, Rob, I almost called you Tom. It's all right. First thing I need you to do it's is to put this hex nut, mm -hmm. six-sided hex nut, in your balloon and blow it up. I know that you'll be good with that today. You had better put this in the incinerator when you're done with it. Yeah, blow it up about this size. <laughs> and then just tie it off. I actually put a little face, yeah, and tie That's it fine. off. Alrighty. I know we know that sound is energy mm -hmm. that is created by vibration. So I'd like for you to take it and just kind of hold it like a bowling ball. And I always like to tell the kids, I, I drew a little face on mine, and I give her a name, and she moans or she screams when she mm -hmm. comes out. I call her Moaning Myrtle from a movie, and the kids just love it. Now, parents go crazy that what is causing this, and hopefully what the kids will be asking is, why does it make that sound? Well, the hex nut is bouncing against the side of the balloon. Mm -hmm. and creates the vibration, which therefore is creating sound. So parents will go crazy as you have your screaming, moaning balloon. Great for Halloween. Great sound. The faster it goes, the higher the pitch. Yeah. So that's I exciting. I like that. That's cool. Now, a way that you can make that more of an inquiry-based lesson is to experiment with the... Now, put your penny in the balloon. Okay. Different okay. sizes. Yeah. Different, okay. And this won't bounce as much. It won't bounce. Will it bounce? Still well, just roll. we will still have the centripetal force, which okay. is the inward force. But what hopefully the kids will be asking will be, will it make the same sound? Right. You know, Missouri has adopted the Common Core curriculum, and that one of the big pushes in that is that kids are going to be asking a lot more questions mm -hmm. instead of teachers telling them. So you will be getting still the centripetal force, but... You do not hear the sound. Now, why would that be? Because this is smooth and that's a nut. Exactly, I mean, because you this have the six sides and it does not create the vibrations. Okay. So that is what the kids difference. can discover with the... 30 seconds up the, to one All one right, second. yes. Now, I have our sound tubes, another mm -hmm. thing that can drive parents crazy, but the kids love. This tube is corrugated. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll take this and just swing it, you get blue, I get pink. Mm -hmm. Just kind of slowly start over here. The key word being, yeah, and That's then, cool. and then fast. Slow, and then you notice how the higher the pitch, mm -hmm. the faster the air, the higher the pitch. Now, stick this Kleenex That's down nice. in that. This part? Now, stick it down in there. Now, That's what cool. the kids are going to be able to predict what is going to happen when the Kleenex no, is stuck no sound. down there? No sound, because what you have are air molecules kind of bumping into each other, mm -hmm. and they actually are shooting out, creating the sound. So mm -hmm. when you put the Kleenex, so it's a great inquiry lesson mm -hmm. that to teach sound, and you have your centrifugal force. So you can have just all kinds of fun with the purple. I can't do both. I can't pat my head oh, and I just knock my water over. rub my stomach at the same yeah. time. For more information on the Quirkles, ozarksfirst.com and, uh, and quirkles.com quirkles as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do this for the rest of the show. Yeah, it's great. While fun. Shannon's reading.